Hey everybody, you know what my New Year's resolution is? I'm going to save some big bucks in 2012 by making my own cleaning products. And I'm going to show you what I've started with. We're going to... Hey everybody, Happy New Year. It's Nancy Alden. Hey everybody, it's Nancy. You know what my New Year's resolution is? I'm going to save some money by making my own cleaning products in 2012 and maybe save enough money to take a little vacation. Hmm? Uh, we're going to start out with making your own laundry soap. And you're only going to need three ingredients to replace this expensive stuff that I used to use. You're going to need some borax. Remember Grandma used to use borax? I used a cup of this. I used a cup of super washing soda, not baking soda, super washing soda, and you'll find this in the laundry aisle, made by Arm & Hammer. And you're going to need two bars of Fells naphtha soap. I don't know if you did as a kid, but whatever, anybody got poison ivy, my mom would always get Fells naphtha soap, and you had to wash in it. Well, you need two bars of that, and you're going to grate it. Uh, if you don't have a food processor, just use a regular old cheese grater. I put it in the food processor and it went a lot faster. You'll cut it up into one inch slices and then put it in your food processor and um, get it all grated up and then I just have it in this Tupperware container like this. And of course if you've got a better food processor you can put it on, yeah, you know, get it a little bit smaller than that. But this works just fine and I'm telling you it is a great laundry detergent. You only need two tablespoons of this stuff to get your uh, a load of laundry clean. If you've got stains, you might want to add another tablespoon, but uh, the only thing I suggest is don't keep it on cold. Keep it on either hot or warm. I use uh, warm cold, which seems to do just fine, and I'm still saving energy there by not using the hot water. Regular cycle, turn it on, bada bing, and it works great. Now let's go upstairs and I'm going to show you how to make your own dishwashing soap mm -hmm. and save tons of money. That's what it's all about. Okay, dishwashing soap. I like to save containers like old milk cartons or glass jars or whatever because you can always recycle them for something. I mean, you don't want to be a pack rat or anything, but I'd rather let them hang around for a while, see if I could use them before I put them in my recycle bin. So I just got a cup and a half of hot water, and I'm going to pour this into an old milk can. Now the one that I made last week, I used in my um, Dawn dishwashing soap, my old one. I run out of this, which cost me, I don't know, two twenty nine dollars or whatever. Uh, but this lasts a lot longer, and it's a lot better on your hands. It's not as rough on your hands. So it's a cup and a half of hot water. Uh, you're going to need a half a cup of uh, this baby shampoo, which is real cheap in the store. So let me get that out, half a cup of that. There we go. Gonna pour that into your container. If you need a funnel, use a funnel. You don't really need it though. Okay, cup and a half of water, half a cup of baby shampoo. Or a baby body wash. And I need one tablespoon of vinegar. See how I use my glass jars? Put my vinegar in there. One tablespoon of vinegar. One tablespoon of this super washing soda again, like we used in our laundry detergent. We're going to make this smell great too. I love this idea of recycling and saving money for that vacation this summer. Where do you want to go? Think about it. Put all that money away. You're better at math than me? Then jot down how much it cost you to buy that Dawn soap and how much you save. I know it's pennies to make. And you're going to need an eighth of a teaspoon of tea tree essential oil, which you buy at Pecatans or any craft store. Even Walmart, I think, has it. So it's an eighth of a teaspoon of that. Oh, we'll just estimate. Rachel Ray does it. That looks about right. And then you want to scent it. You want to scent your uh, dishwashing soap with some lemon oil. 
You're going to put a few drops of that in. Okay. And you're done. You just shake it up. You've got homemade dishwashing soap, and this is what it looks like, actually. It doesn't have as many suds as uh, your Dawn or your uh, any other dishwashing liquid would have, but I don't think you need it. I think it's better not to have that much suds. But it has enough, and it sure cleans it. And it smells great, too. Homemade dishwashing soap. You can make your own and save a lot of money in 2012. Now, I'm going to show you how to make your very own bleach cleaner. I use that a lot on this white countertop here. So, You know how much this stuff costs? The Clorox bleach cleanup spray. And I use a lot of it because I've got white countertops and a white sink. And I use it in my bathrooms and uh, even my uh, island over here that's white on top. I'm going to show you how to make it for pennies. This cost me $4.79. Ah, I'm not paying that anymore. Sorry, Clorox. And you're going to need some peroxide, a cup and a half of peroxide, and you're going to add that cup and a half of peroxide into a jug container like this, a gallon jug container. And I just saved this from uh, some old vinegar here. And you're going to mark it bleach cleaner so people don't think it's the vinegar and use it for cooking. Then you're going to need a half a cup of the vinegar. You're going to pour that into there. Then you're going to need a uh, tablespoon of this super washing soda and about 10 drops of lemon oil, essential lemon oil, and a little bit of bleach, maybe a splash of bleach. And you're going to uh, put that all into this container and then fill up the rest of it with water. And then get yourself one of these sprayers, these plastic sprayers, or maybe you've got an old uh, Windex sprayer that would work great too. And I'm telling you, this stuff works terrific. Uh, footnote, don't shake it because it will explode, as I learned. It almost went up in my face. Um, the chemicals in that will explode, so don't shake it, but it works great. Take a look at this, here. And I get the, I like these uh, little scrubbers here. And look at how white it gets it. It's fabulous. So, there you go. It's time for me to clean my stove, I think. I did this side already. Look at how sparkling and clean it is now. One of my least favorite jobs. Look at that. What a mess. Uh-oh. Time to let the dog out. Gotta go.